Hello friends, so today we're gonna discuss the problem from the latest Code Forces round 669, problem C, chocolate bunny. So let's start. It's an interactive problem. So the question statement states that we hide or the problem setter hide a permutation P of length N which consists of all the elements from 1 till N. Okay. And you actually have to guess it. So like you have to guess it, it's a permutation of all the elements from 1 till N. And what you actually have to do in this interactive problem is to find or to guess that uh, like that permutation you can give us two indices like indices i and j and we will reply pi mod pj what does this mean so let's assume that you give two elements of that permutation so if you give the ith and jth indices two indices then the like the interactor or the, the interactive problem will return you a remainder of pi by pj then we have enough patient to answer at most two inquiries so you can do at most two inquiries so you can like so that you should fit it in the constraints so can you do it so like you have to understand how you can ask like specific question to the interactor such that like you can get or find out that permutation so what you can do here is first write down some random permutation let's assume it is 2 1 uh, 3 4 okay so now just take two indices now like that uh, i just take these two indices L let's assume i just don't know anything like i don't know the actual uh, permutation i'm just writing out for easiness and this is the indices okay so let's assume i just ask the inter like interactive problem what is if I just give this i and this j, if I just give 1 and 3, the interactor will return me 2 mod 3. 2 mod 3, which is equal to 2. Okay, so like the interactor problem or the interactive question will return me 2. Okay, fine. But let's assume I just reverse it. I asked, take this as j and this as i. Then if I asked what is 3 mod 2, it will return me one okay so now there's one good thing like i can or like you can also observe here is because everything is distinct okay if i just take two indices i and j and if i reverse them like in the first question i can just ask i and j and in the next query i can ask j and i what it's actually helped me to find out is uh, let's assume that i have this number two and three if I ask 2 mod 3, it will give 2. If I ask 3 mod 2, it will give 1. Same like let's assume I will take uh, 2 and 4 also. Let's take for example. If I do 2 mod 4, 2 mod 4 it will give 2. If I get like 4 mod 2, it will give 0. What you can see here is there is one number which is always smaller and the other number is always greater like because the two numbers are different it will always happen that one number is smaller and one number is greater now you can observe here is the number which is smaller the remainder which is smaller corresponds to a larger number between these two numbers why because actually if a larger number do a mod with a smaller number as you can see the smaller number will come up as a whole but if i take a larger number and do with a small number it will make some remainder value and it is it is smaller same as you can see here is if i take a larger number mod with 2 it will give 2 but if i take 4 mod 2 it is smaller so the smaller number always corresponds to a larger number and the larger number corresponds to a smaller number i hope you understand this like this important like problem or observation here so if i just take i and j so what i can do here is because i can ask at most two an observation or two inquiries i start from the first i and j okay now i ask the interactor okay give me the like the value of these two so it will if i take i and j as this it will give me first zero because two mod one is equal to zero and one mod two is equal to one so if i get these two values the value which is larger will correspond to actually the same number which means that because it is larger 
among the two numbers then it means that the other number is larger and when I had done a modulus with that number with this number this number doesn't give any remainder like the whole number is just remainder and thus I get this number so whenever I'm making the or finding out the missing permutation I can easily mark this as one okay now but I do not know the first number but I definitely know that this number is larger than this number so I do not know this number so what can I do here is I can mark this number as something i and something j so I know j now so I can now mark out my j to the next point and do these two pairs so it's just like using two pointers okay now take these two numbers and find out the two queries so if this two and three so if I do two more three it's giving two if I am doing three more two it's giving one so what does this mean which is the larger number the larger number is this so the larger number corresponds to the actual number because among these two numbers the larger number is actually the smaller number which is actually the number we can put the larger number gives the corresponding smaller uh, mod so like we do not know that number but the smaller number we always know that this number is the original number only so I can mark this 2 as this number and after marking this 2 number I do not know this j like this number so I will make my i points to this number because now I do not know this number now so I will point out this number now uh, my j will move to the next point because now my j was on this I will move my j to the next point so j is moving from one to the another j is iterating from this here and i is at least on the maximum till now as you as you can observe here is in this maximum till now is this when I come to this the maximum till now becomes i so i is actually jumping to the maximum till now now do the uh, like the mod or the like the interactive problem as i and j taking 3 and 4 so if I take 3 and 4 uh, the first value or the 3 mod 4 is 3 and 4 mod 3 is equal to uh, 4 mod 3 is equal to 1 so what does this mean the smaller number always corresponds to the number or the larger number among them will always correspond to the small number which is there so which is equal to this number pointing at 3 so make this equal to 3 and then make our i equal to this and because I'm on the last point the last number is the maximum number among them and I always points to the maximum number so we know that the last number is always the maximum number and the maximum number because it is permutation the last number is the maximum number and maximum number is like the maximum length of that permutation which is like equal to 4 so don't need any query and you can easily fill this and that's the whole uh, permutation as, as you can see I found it out so that's the logic and the what you can see I will tell you how to implement this and the main thing about this is to take these two pointers i and j as you can see how they can move i have marked i as index and j is moving among like like from left to right so that's the whole like trick part let's move on to the code part now take it more clear it's an interactive problem so you have to make this function interact in which you will send i and j because r indexing is from uh, 0th indexing but I am sending it from uh, like but the question statement is in ind indexing 1 so I have to send i and j and add 1 to them this is the like way you can ask the interactive problem question mark space i plus 1 j plus 1 and in return it will give some x so like you can see an x and return out x which will be the, actually the mod of i and j so i mod p is returning as x so this is b which you will fill, fill index is 0 and you are iterating i so like you can this is actually j and index is actually i in the explanation i have told you then what you can do you can interact first send index which is the i -th, and this is j so like in, uh, interact with index and i and also interact with just a positive this is i and index now what you can see here is whichever is like larger among them we will store that as you can see whichever is larger if y is larger we will store y but what you can see here is one point is i and one point is j if j is giving the larger value then what you can see here is if j is giving the larger value my i which stores the maximum till now is not changing because if uh, if this is giving the max like if i like compare these two i and j and i is giving the maximum value i have to skip that i i have to like make my i jump to the next point okay 
and that's the whole thing you have to see at which point i have to mark it out if x and y are comparing and uh, as you can see is y is getting y is making our value larger y is actually j so what you can tell is just mark b of i equal to y okay and then my loop is going on but if like x is greater then i will mark this because this is like in the original explanation index is tell as i so we are just marking index of b as x and now i am making my index equal to i because i am jumping to the next maximum i have told you and then in the end after all this while loop index or like i in the original statement is marking at the last or the maximum value which is equal to n so after this whole iteration mark b of index equal to n and when like you have completed or like find out the missing permutation you just see out an exclamation mark which said that okay fine do not ask any more queries i know the final permutation so exclamation and space and then print out the whole b array which stores the final permutation and just see out the answer i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye